Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Again MRI, and this is a 59-year-old female with radial sided wrist pain. They suspect the query veins tenus endivitis, and they do have that. I'm going to show you an example of that, but also go into just some really basic anatomy along the radial aspect of the wrist. All these uh, tendons can get pretty confusing, so I think about the radial side here together, and we're going to look at these ones right over here. So along the very radial margin of the wrist, this is the distal radius here. We see the first compartment, we see one, two things together. These are the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis. And so when I look at these one, two, three, four together, I think of them as long, the longest, brevis, longest, brevis. So just keep it straight because it can be very confusing. So longest, brevis, longest, brevis. And so this is the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis. So the abductor pollicis longus, the APL. Now I always think about the APB, put out an APB, all points bulletin. Well, that doesn't work here. So I think of it kind of in reverse. There's no such thing as an APB. It's only an APL. So, um, so an APL, abductor pollicis longus, and we know the next one has to be a brevis. So this is the extensor pollicis brevis, and the extensor pollicis longus is going to be way over here. And we see that it's again longest, brevis, longest, brevis, and then longest again. And so if you ever get confused uh, to what these are, you say, well, I know there's two extensor tendons. There's the brevis and then the longest, because it's again longest, brevis, longest, brevis, longest. So we'll start again. This is the uh, abductor pollicis longus, because there's no such thing as an APB. Abductor pollicis longus, and then the extensor pollicis brevis. There's a buddy over here. And then we have the extensor carpi radialis. And these have the longest and brevis, and we already know what they are. Longest brevis. And then over here we're going to finish it off with the extensor pollicis longus. And that's going to go over the top here. So just a little quick anatomy. Again, it can be very confusing. I've pulled out the book a thousand times, and uh, finally I think I have it straight. Um, but over here we see at the level of the radius we have the Abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis tendons. Here's our extensor carpi radialis brothers there. And we're going to go distally, distally. Now we're right at the tip of the radial styloid, and look how gray this is. So thick, gray T1 signal. There's a case of De Quervain's tenus endivitis. Sometimes you can see fluid in the tendon sheath. We don't see that in this patient very much, just a little bit of uh, edema around it, but no significant fluid there, and no tendon rupture. And that's it. So a little bit of anatomy in a case of mild decoy veins tenus endivitis on the radial aspect of the wrist that involves these two tendons. Thank you very much.